talk budget today and we're going to talk about expenses and one of the reasons we shy away from this a little bit with the other main videos is that you can look at something like this and say well that's what it's going to cost to go cruising and it's really hard to explain in an in-depth way that cruising budgets can vary from ten five or ten thousand dollars per year to a hundred and fifty two hundred thousand pretty easily yeah so we're obviously right in the middle of that yeah and I think that since so many of our of you want to go cruising and you've known our story for a long time I think you can extrapolate a little bit she's got everything organized and ferreted out here with spreadsheets and you've uh, you're kind of a numbers girl here. I am the numbers girl I keep track of every penny we spend on clarity and I love it now that we have a full year, 2021, we can look back and slice and dice it. So I thought it would be a good time to share that with everybody. Let's slice, let's dice. All right, the first category is kind of like boat and cruising expenses. So we'll go through that line by line and I've done it from the cheapest to the most expensive category. So the first one is cruising permits. We spent $880. And that would be for you know immigration, health permits, all that coming into the country. That literally took 30 seconds to do to clear out of uh, the Bahamas. So that is just coming into the Bahamas twice, and we did have to pay an extra for the one-year cruising permit last year. So marinas and moorings, we've spent $920, and that is not much. So we hardly spend no. time in a marina. And that can be a real budget buster, especially with the catamarans. Uh, it's between 1.5 and 2 times the monohull rate, and slip fees have been going up like crazy, it seems like, for the East Coast. Yeah, so in Green Turtle Club in the Abacos, what, two nights we spent there? Was it like 250 total? Uh, it was, yeah, it was 280 bucks once yeah. you get all the taxes. It's two nights. Yeah, so we try to stay out of marinas. Uh, fuel, that would be everything gas, diesel, and propane. We spent $2,058. Mm -hmm. We're going through a propane tank every four to six weeks, and propane costs can vary. Fuel prices have really varied a lot too, as everybody on land can attest to as well. It's been the same thing on the water. We've paid as little as about $2.10 per gallon for diesel, and in the Bahamas, $6 a gallon. So it's really changed a lot. Yeah second to biggest is boat insurance and that was 7515 and that gives us all of the Caribbean and um, important point to make that's 7500 bucks on a value of 316,000 which is less than this boat would sell for right now we think uh, but getting insurance has gotten really expensive when yeah. we got into this it was 1.5 times whole value and now 2.5 to 3. 2.5 to common. 3. So folks with a million dollar boat, it's it's a steep bill. Yeah. It's a real steep bill. Okay, and then the biggest expense, as you'd expect, is boat expenses. That's all the little doodads for clarity. 21,963. Okay. Ready? Ready? Expensive. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. You pretty much have to have a pressure washer it's happened some of these things are discretionary and other things you just gotta have this is the water maker pump when it went out we just had to fly it in with the tax and the air freight it was almost a thousand bucks we got some bunk chain we had to replace and it was time to do some new running rigging did a lot of soft work some new canvas work around the cockpit it was a huge improvement with a whole bunch of new shade. A quarter of our boat expenses came from our haul out. This is an annual expense and it was about 5,000 bucks to get the boat pulled out, some repainting done on the bottom, and a little fiberglass work. We did some preventative maintenance, changing out the motor mounts. It was just about time. We also tried to innovate. We removed our generator and replaced it with high output alternators and we finally got a Bluetooth stereo, a life changer. I made some new cushions and recocked all the bathrooms. 
These are small jobs, but all the little jobs add up. It's just our living expenses. So this includes everything that we did off the boat as well, which we spent about seven weeks off the boat. Yes. So laundry, $288. And we have a, a washing machine on board, but when we get a chance to hit a laundromat, we do blankets and kind of everything. So <laughs> it's not cheap in the Bahamas. It's like, could be $40, $45 to do five or six loads. Believe it or not, sometimes you find finest of laundromats away from the urban centers and more towards the outskirts and that's exactly <laughs> the case today i would describe this as the outskirts and yet the nicest laundromat on exuma is right here miscellaneous car washing parking you know license stuff we had to get renew our organ licenses 522 dollars Transportation, that's uh, Ubers and taxi. Um, so 500. Is that plane sorry, tickets too? Eight, yeah, 830, $842. Gifts, entertainment, clothing, haircuts, $2,300. We love spending time with our families and we are so lucky they live in the same town and they have plenty of room for us to stay when we come visit. Healthcare, so that would be like me going and getting my skin checked out, um, you know, dental stuff. That came at 2411. That doesn't include insurance. Doesn't include our catastrophic health insurance. Yes. Data was 2540. <laughs> so we're playing a lot in data. The internet's got us by the short hairs for sure. Yep. So um, that's the Iridium Go and that's our SIM cards, our data packages. When we're on in the US, you get data on your yeah. iPads, I get it on my phone. Uh, here in the Bahamas, we're paying 140 a month and then I am still paying like 70 bucks for my Google Fi. Okay, so then we've got eating out. And when we're in the Bahamas, we never eat out very rarely. So 2607. And I would be curious if you're on land, do you keep track of your eating out number? Because that was one of our big expenses when we lived on land. It's oh, going out to eat. Yeah, we ate out probably two or three nights a week, yeah. I would say. Yeah, so, but that's still a large number, larger than I would have thought. And back to the source, going back to the pork and no, because pork and no. Okay. Uh, health insurance. So this is our catastrophic health insurance and our Dan Diver insurance. So twenty nine ninety five. So almost three thousand dollars. I don't know if we've talked about it previously, but we have catastrophic policies with a seven thousand dollar deductible per year. So this is like a major trauma or a cancer diagnosis or something like that. That's what this insurance is for. Uh, but and that's a seven thousand for the both of us. So that's good because I've heard of people on land with good, you know, policies with a 7,000 deductible. So if you look at what we paid for health care and our health insurance, we are about $5,500 per year for our health costs, I guess you would say. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then the big expense is provisions, $14,092. I'm a hungry boy, what can I say? And so that includes not just food, it's gonna be our paper goods and you know, little- Provisions. Mis yeah, yeah. Mis miscellaneous stuff <laughs> from Target, you know. <laughs> ah, the bounty. We hit the grocery store at a good time, got lots of fresh stuff. Got the last mixed green salad mix, and I'm feeling revived. Haven't had a grocery trip in three weeks. I don't know how this is gonna fit, but I'm gonna give it a shot or I'm gonna eat the rest right now. So that brings our total for living expenses to 28,598 for a grand total of 61,934. Let's just call it 62,000. I mean, it looks better on the thumbnail, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think we did pretty good. Two and a half years ago, we did something kind of similar with our expenditures and we're pretty close, we're pretty consistent. And I noticed as we're going through the list, we definitely go for the most budget-minded experience. For example, you look at our travel expenses and we were flying cross country, but that, that was all on credit card mileage. So yeah, most of it was actually. We paid, had to pay a little bit on the way back, but then with staying with family, we didn't have to spend any money on housing. The other thing I noticed was with birthing and mortgage and slip rental, 
Your generosity brought those costs down because we stayed with friends several times where marinas would have been much, much more expensive. So yeah, we were very, very frugal and probably could have spent another eight, nine, ten thousand dollars just on the regular expenses. And that really brings up a great question because like we said in the beginning, we don't want to come off as saying you need $62,000 to cruise. Because no way. there really is a budget for everybody out there. It's been said before by others, and I'll just repeat it, that basically you're going to spend what you have to do this. So if you've got a lot of money, you'll spend a lot more money. If you don't have so much, then you won't spend as much. It's kind of like the house you buy, you tend to just furnish it for as many rooms as you've got, regardless of how many rooms you need. And our last boat was a Freedom 33 Cat Catch rig, and we bought it for 22. We got into it for about 45, 50, would you say? Something like that, and that's a really good example of the ultra budget-minded cruiser, because this boat, it's not like it was no frills. We put on some very nice sails, <laughs> and we put on an autopilot and a heater, and we made it very livable. And solar. And solar. We had 400 watts of solar. It was everything we needed to be safe and sufficient for coastal cruising and a little bit of offshore. And our expenditures, aside from the boat, really went down as a result. So we probably spent, on average, about $1,200 a month with that boat. Yeah, and our living expenses were a little bit less, but the boat expenses were a whole lot less. For example, even insurance. We carried no hull insurance. It was just liability insurance because we didn't really need to. If something happened to the boat, that would, that would suck, but it was worth as much as about a nice car, I guess. And so the insurance cost with just liability was what? About, yeah, 50 bucks a month. Yeah, so we didn't have the insurance costs. I think I filled the diesel tank up maybe every other year because we had nice sails and we sailed everywhere. The expenses were just so much low. Of course, it was a little rougher. We had no refrigeration, <laughs> no air conditioning. No water maker. No water maker. It was no frills, but it got us out there. Yeah. And our annual budget for that boat was probably somewhere around $25,000. And to contrast that, some of our friends and viewers shared their numbers with us based on our categories and they were closer to $270,000 per year. $270,000 per year. And it's interesting when you look at the cost breakdowns. I mean, the, the living expenses really are not that much different between boat to boat to boat. It seems like it's the boat costs that are the big variable. So even out of their 275,000, I think over 150,000 was split between either repairs and improvements or having professionals on board to operate the boat. So you get a really, really big boat. Well, sometimes you're gonna have to call in the big guns to help you move it around. So I guess the bottom line here is there is a budget for every cruiser. We have met cruisers down in the islands, down in the BVI's. I remember one boat, it couldn't have been more than about 23 feet long, and I bet you they were doing just fine on maybe five, eight thousand dollars per year. Yes. Not extravagant living, I certainly couldn't do it, but doable. So we hope that you found this video valuable and if you'd like to contribute, you can always just hit like and subscribe. Pass the hat anyone? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, just liking and subscribing to the channel is a huge boost to us. The YouTube algorithm is always changing and we need every little <laughs> help that we can get. Of course, a huge shout out goes to our patrons who really do make this show possible, helping to pay those bills. Yes, and our patrons got a sneak peek of this video with even more behind the scenes on our insurance and other tidbits that we shared with them. They got all the breakdowns, in case we have a breakdown, <laughs> and they need to help. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you next week. See you out there, everybody. Bye-bye.